Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, you are very welcome to this special edition of the Best Marketing Awards at ICA's 59th Congress in Kaohsiung. My name is Patrick Delaney, and it is my distinct honor and pleasure to be chairman of the panel of judges and moderator for this morning's session. Under any criteria, this has been an extraordinarily difficult year. And at the outset, let me express deepest sympathy to anybody who has had the unfortunate loss in their family or colleague to COVID-19. It's also been extraordinarily difficult for our businesses and brought an amazing disruption to each and every country. No one has been spared. So in these economic and societal conditions, we felt it was inappropriate to run our normal ICA Best Marketing Award. However, we do want to recognize the amazing role that ICA members have paid in this very difficult situation. So we're combining our Global Sustainability Award and the ICA Best Marketing Award. And we're highlighting the key role in leadership, in transformative leadership that ICA members have played throughout the world. So in this context, we have sent out a request for examples of how this leadership manifested itself. And we're using criteria like innovation and creativity and local outreach and community engagement, digitalization, sustainability, crisis management, new business models, extraordinary collaboration. And boy, have we received examples of this from all over the world. Extraordinary, fantastic, and very, very difficult to choose five representatives. But we did that, and we did that with the help of an amazing judging panel, and I'd like to recognize them and thank them for all their work. They are Aileen Crawford from the Glasgow Convention Bureau, Rena Tigi from the Estonian Convention Bureau, Ross Barker from The Meeting Show, Rory Archibald from Visit Scotland, and Sentil Gobinat, our CEO of ICA. So thank you so much for all of the effort you put in to making this session possible. ICA family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and possibly for some of you even good night. Uh, wherever you are in the world, wherever you're tuning in from, thank you for joining us today. I'm Ross Barker, I'm the Group Commercial Director at North Star Meetings Group, the organisers of the meeting show. As we all know, the global meetings and events community should be descending and gathering in the wonderful destination that is Kaohsiung for this year's annual ICA Congress. And I think it's safe to say that we all wish we could be there together. But for now, we can't. And we're incredibly thankful for the wide ranging technology that is in our industry that's enabling us to continue our relationships, forge new ones, help us collaborate and come together in such a time of need. It's this time of need that brings me on to this year's awards. As Patrick mentioned, we've evolved the awards this year to reflect the current circumstances our industry finds itself in. It's been an absolute pleasure to be involved in these awards. Quite humbling, but extremely uplifting, witnessing the work being done by our members, our community, in a global time of need. Usually, I'd have the opportunity to show you some highlights, some content of this year's meeting show. But, like many events in our sector, this year's show took a very different format. But what I can tell you is that our community came together for three fabulous days filled with learning, connections and future business opportunities. Demonstrated over 52,000 messages exchanged. Over 22,000 discussions started and over 4,000 video one-to-one -one appointments, which truly shows how resilient and adaptable our industry is and can be. I'd like to thank ICA again for this opportunity. I'd like to thank the members for their submissions, which have been fantastic. And I'd like to thank all of you, the ICA family, for joining us again today. Stay safe, stay connected, look after one another. And if I don't see you soon, I'll see you in June for the Meeting Show 2021.
Let's get straight into it and go to our first example of transformative leadership provided by the Flanders Convention Bureau. They've had a long-term vision of how you emphasize positive impact, but they had immediate need to get over the COVID crisis. And to solve this conundrum, they created a really comprehensive framework, how the customers and suppliers could work together to provide safe meetings in this COVID environment. In Flanders, the northern region of Belgium, our vision is to create not more, but better congresses. Better for the participants, better for the locals, better for the key industries of Flanders, better for the region. We think in terms of positive impact, and we think in terms of the long term. That's why our baseline is create tomorrow's heritage. And then along came COVID-19. Suddenly, the industry urgently needed a short-term recovery plan and tools to guide them through the restrictions. But how do you find short-term solutions that fit a long-term vision? First, we looked at the big question marks facing our industry. What measures do I have to take to organise a COVID-proof event? Result, the Corona Prevention Guidebook for meeting venues with information and tips on how to safely organise events. How can I be sure that my event is COVID proof? Did I take all the right measures? Result, the COVID event risk model. This online tool available in four languages and developed in partnership with scientific experts, specialized researchers and the Alliance of Belgian Event Federations easily screens any event. The organizer just has to fill in a questionnaire with facts and figures such as the number of square meters, expected number of people, how people get there, how they get around. They then get a green, orange or red safety label for that specific event. But we didn't stop there. With the COVID event protocol, we gave the organizer tips and tricks on how to optimize the safety risk to receive a better safety label. The tool was consulted over 40,000 times and picked up by other destinations. I have an event venue. What extra measures do I have to take? Result, the COVID infrastructure risk model. This online tool was specifically developed to screen the infrastructure of a venue. Nice, but what about the financial risk? Result, the loan refund system. Thanks to our lobbying and collaborations with government departments, we were able to get a loan refund system for organizers of congresses. The Flemish government offers the possibility of a reimbursable loan for organizers to create working capital for new events in the fall of 2020 and 2021. How can we enable people to discover places while avoiding crowds? Result, the U Flanders app. This app shows you how busy different locations are. You might also discover some hidden gems nearby. It also gives you practical information about health and safety measures. All these tools are free to use and available in English. Safety was already a big issue in our industry. It's now far bigger. These tools help our users and visitors plan for the future and secure our long-term vision. What did we learn from all this? We listened to our partners and acted. Never waste a crisis. We learned that we are so much stronger together. We made new partnerships. We collaborated, co-created. We shared our findings and knowledge with policymakers, our new partners, knowledge centers, the event sector and others. We kept communicating. Due to the lockdown, the further challenge was to work closely together, but from a distance. And we also discovered that we have the best MICE team. Are you wondering who we are? Well, here are our colleagues at the Visit Flanders Convention Bureau that made everything possible. During COVID-19, we proved with our team that we can create tomorrow's heritage. Now let's look at the next steps. Kintex is the largest venue in South Korea, and they created with the local authorities, their customers and suppliers, a framework which would allow the center to open very quickly 
And in fact, that framework has been used in many other centers and destinations around the world. Let's hear the details of that framework. Hello, Ica friends. This is Frank Yang, a director of convention marketing at Kintex. On behalf of Kintex, it is a great honor to be recognized for the Ica Best Marketing Award. I'm pleased to introduce you our case, how we overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. Kintex is the largest venue in South Korea, holding more than 1,300 events annually. And it is located in beautiful Goyang City, right next to Seoul. Kintex has been selected to host meaningful international events, including the Rotary International Convention and the Inter-Korean Summit. At the beginning of 2020, an unprecedented crisis hit our industry. The Korean government issued an order to ban gatherings, which meant all convention centers had to shut down. Our goal was to open our venue and resume events as quickly as possible. Let's see what kind of efforts enabled Kintex to hold the world's second show on May 7th since the COVID-19 pandemic started. However, there were major challenges. We lacked budget and resources to cover all prevention activities. Moreover, we had neither experience nor know-how on operating a venue during the pandemic. As a result, we were faced with many unexpected situations. We knew, however, that we had to overcome. To do so, we established the Kintex COVID-19 Response Center and developed the COVID-19 Management Framework. We also created an industry-first manual together with local authorities and organizers. With the strong leadership of our management, we invest in technology, including a QR access control system and a hybrid event studio. With support from the public sector and our dedicated working culture, we were able to overcome the crisis. This is the innovative framework for reopening a venue. To explain the key points, it is very important that these four parties collaborate and communicate transparently. A venue must always update the manual according to the changing situation. Venues and organizers should try to resolve any problem on the same day as soon as the problem is discovered. You should be prepared to work whenever you need, even overnight or on weekend. That's what I have done quite often. By doing so, we have built trust with authorities and the local community and created an environment in which we can continue to hold events. This shows what preventive measures we have done on a side-by-side -side basis. Please refer to the screen for this part. I will move on. As a result of this effort, a total of 89 events were held from May to August attracting more than 336,000 visitors. During that period, one person confirmed to be infected with COVID-19 visited our venue, but thanks to the thorough execution of free preventive activities, there were no additional infections. As a result, our case was adopted in a guide created jointly by ICA, UFI, and AIPC. This case was also shared on UFI blog. In addition to help Revitalize the global mice industry. We shared our experience via social media, the press, and other destinations and centers. Led by eight mice related associations, our community did everything possible, including filing petitions and holding demonstrations and press conferences. As a result, we were able to open our venue on October 13th after the government's ban on gatherings in late August. Now, I will show you what kind of facility we developed to prepare for the new normal era. I'm here at Pintex Video Conferencing Center. It has seven meeting rooms and is equipped with state-of-the-art video conferencing system. As it becomes difficult for foreign buyers to visit Korea, this facility is designed to support trade shows and business meetings between Korean exhibitors and foreign buyers through one-stop video conferencing service. Now, Korean sellers are having video conferences with overseas buyer. Let's take a look inside. I just came to the Grand Ballroom. I would like to introduce you to our new hybrid event studio. All cutting edge technologies is in place for both live and virtual events, including high definition LED screens, 4K digital cameras, a hologram display device, as well as a AR-VR video transmission system. 
This facility will allow event organizers to host more than 300 delegates while maintaining social distance requirements, whilst also live streaming to an unlimited audience remotely. Thank you so much for your interest in our case and I will look forward to meeting you in person as soon as the world is ready. Stay safe. Bye. What do you do when you find a deficit in your human resources capability? Do you wait around for somebody else to sort the problem or do you take action yourself? That's certainly what the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center did when they realized they had a deficit in the professionalism and the quantity of PCOs in their destination. They joined with the Malaysian Convention and Exhibition Bureau and IAPCO to create a globally accredited program online to allow this deficit to be sorted. Let's hear about it. Hello, I'm Martin Boyle, Chief Executive Officer of IAPCO. The IAPCO's Training Academy has created a very unique multi-phase continued professional development program with KLCC and MySEB that we believe will provide Malaysian meeting professionals with new training, knowledge and expertise so that they are better equipped to deliver in this ever-changing landscape and to compete internationally for the long term. The marketing opportunities that continue to be delivered due to the relevance and importance of this program have, in addition, provided KLCC 
MySeb and IAPCO the opportunity to share our collaborative messages across a much greater audience. I'm sure you will agree that this is true marketing with a purpose in action. Thank you. Let's now go to Seoul, South Korea, and hear from the Seoul Tourism Organization. They have a slogan or motto, which is stand strong together. But how does that work in practice in this environment? And in the following video, you'll see how they created an amazing series of actions to support their customers, suppliers, and linked in with the national authorities to make a safe environment for meetings and events to take place. Our next stop is in India, where we'll hear how Taj Hotel Group use their extensive hotel and hospitality resources to support the wider community, and in particular, the frontline workers and migrants in this very difficult situation.
I haven't been home for the past four weeks, but my family and colleagues are secure that I have a place to call my own, at least until the pandemic ends. Thank you for caring for frontline soldiers in this war. We really appreciate it, and it helps us to do our duties with even more passion. Thank you. I'm a lakai ho, wo kai no ko yat atmiye the na lakshya gatle. Ami hospital madhe kamala ho. Amza ahar kasa hawa. Amala kuchya ko chichi garal de. Ashe zani purvak tani pratyek ko sta amala dile de. Amza rahane pasun te khane parin tu cha pratyek ko sti madhe taj ne amala saath de. So there you have it. I hope you were as stimulated, as motivated, and enjoyed that session as much as I did. This has been a special edition of the BMA, and next year we look forward to meeting in person and continuing on that great tradition of sharing and learning from each other. Bye bye, and take care and stay safe.